so hi everyone welcome back once again in this video we are going to see how to deploy a web application using aws cloud ec2 service and using this ec2 service we are going to deploy this type of web application if you are new on this channel please subscribe this channel and watch other cloud and devops related videos let's go to our aws console and create ec2 instance here i have created one step by step procedure how to create deploy web application on aws cloud using ec2 so first we required to create one ec2 instance then connect that ec2 instance in that uh, we are going to enter as a root user and going to use some commands to deploy this web application using aws ec2 instance we are going to use here git uh, github also so in this video we are going to use github also aws console also aws ec2 instance also let's go directly to our aws console by referring these all steps let's create one ec2 instance launch ec2 instance here we can give any name i am giving here shri tech web i am using here amazon linux aws amazon linux 2023 ami and after that uh, t2 micro as it is you can create any key pair i am uh, not going to create any key pair here without key pair as a demo purpose i am doing this you can create your key pair also uh, if you are using other uh, secure shell or other terminal you can use this key pair to enter into that secure shell in previous videos we created our key pair and we use that key pair you can watch those videos also in network settings we are going to allow ssh traffic that is required uh, after that allow http traffic okay and after that allow http traffic because i am going to public this one after that configure storage 8 gb as it is and launch instance okay i never selected here proceed without key pair okay proceed without key pair and launch our instance is going to create within 15 seconds let's refresh so these all are our steps we are going to connect our machine and using these commands along with this i am going to open my git account here so when if you want this data related to that uh, website creating you want to practice you can fork from my uh, git account i am mentioning my git account this data uh, in description you can fork from here here you can fork this and use this data to create your website also to practice this one also so this is our data related to our website in that html file contain actual appearance of our website so let's go to our aws console here our okay shri tech web is running now directly connect using ec2 instance connect okay i'm going to connect i'm here i'm using uh, aws console you can use our your terminal also so yum update let's see this will okay actually the system is up to date that's why it is not asking anything after updating our system uh, we are going to install http server okay yum install http http d yum install httpd this one will ask see yes i'm going to install this server httpd for my web application so here i'm going to run command system ctl status so system ctl status command is used to what is the exact status of our server to check the status of our server you can use this command so which server we are going to check here httpd this is the exact status of our server now in this my linux system i am going to create one directory and in that directory i am going to create some files from my git repository 
सो लेट्स क्रिएट वन डिरेक्टरी मेक डिरेक्टरी एम के डी आई आर मेक डिरेक्टरी विथ नेम यू कैन गिव एनी नेम आई एम गिविंग टेक टेक एंटर टू एंटर इन टू आवर डिरेक्टरी सी डी टेक सी आई हैव एंटर्ड हियर इन माई डिरेक्टरी सो हियर आई एंटर इन टू माई डिरेक्टरी सी डी टेक in this directory i have created one folder like a tech in that tech folder i am going to copy my data from my git repository to copy data from git repository in code we can copy this http link this uh, this one will going to create a link between your git repository and your linux machine folder we created so let's copy directly we get this this is a link created to get data from our git repository which is required to create our web app enter so this all data is fetch into our local system or we can say our linux system is not local we created here is our personal machine so here i have uh, one more file zip file in that uh, main file also available this zip folder to my system linux system copy this and enter here we have main file let's run command ls hyphen l i am again doing this okay so here let see we have read write read read permission with group with uh, user with uh, others for portfolio website dot git we have all these permissions so here this one is only showing portfolio website dot git not showing main file why because we never okay no space between w get http that's why our zip main zip file is not downloaded here okay now this one is downloaded let's see in list our main zip file is available or not see main zip file also available here so let's unzip our main zip file main dot zip enter okay now let's see our unzip file is totally present in our folder or not because in that folder we get our html file what is present into our repository without this html file we cannot Uh, create our web application or we cannot deploy our application let's see with ls hyphen l see we have this portfolio website main file we are going to use this portfolio website main file to fetch our other data into our repository which is actually downloaded into our linux systems folder tech folder but we are going to enter into that so let's enter into this portfolio website main folder for that copy change directory to this portfolio website main enter now we entered into our portfolio website main folder in that let's see which are the files present see here we have readme css index.html file also js file and plugins also which are present in our repository here so css js plugins readme readme and index in this index file uh, see we can see all this data which are actually going to appear onto our web application page okay so let's run next command now it is required to move to our var www/html folder okay in that folder we have our actual path to enter into our data so let's change directory to var www/html enter So we enter into our var wwhtml folder. In that we are going to perform some actions. 
when you see list into that folder also we will get same list like this we actually entered into exact position but we required access a particular access or a perfect access for that we are going to our inbound rules in security for sri tech web you can see here we have security group in that security group we have here inbound rules in this inbound rule we have https http and ssh for this https we are going to create source anywhere this is our web app and for http also we are creating anywhere ipv4 for our this one is our for our web app okay created and our ssh22 we use for as a root user save this rules and now let's see the system status system ctl status for what httpd enter okay now we are going to active this one for that use command system enable httpd this will enable okay it's not found something because my command is wrong most of the times it will happen system ctl okay enable httpd now link is created here with this command our link is created now we are going to active and use this uh, system ctl http server what we created now we've done our 90 percent uh, things here but the most important thing is start our server for that use start httpd server enter there is no message means our server is start so how to uh, open this in browser let's copy public ip first control v this ip i am going to open this one nothing to show okay this one is showing so this is our web application what is with deployed uh, this one is showing sridhar desai tech learn cloud and devop project you can interface your web application using this with sridhar desai tech thanks for watching this video if you have any question then uh, tell me in the comment section if you want data related to this from my git you can comment and you will get into description uh, this git repository data i am providing link into description don't forget to subscribe this channel like this video and share this video for devops and cloud learners thanks for watching